first world order radio finally finally we are on the air no doubt all right all right there's always gonna be somebody in the building on first world order radio begin on into some of that order consciousness tonight First World Order Radio every Wednesday, 8 p.m. We got to talk about what is taking place on the planet. There's always going to be somebody in the building on First World Order Radio. First, we need to let you know we're going to be doing more shows, giving out more information on Wednesdays. Wednesday is 8 o'clock. We are now going to make this is the hottest day of the week. And others in time, order, and importance. The most prominent parts, voices, or instruments. Earthly state of human concerns and existence. An indefinite multitude, quantity, or distance. System regulates to bring about specifics in the group based on value and natural characteristics. Current radiates electromagnetistics of sound through the air, same as your thoughts transmits it. Proceed in others in time, order, and importance. The most prominent parts, voices, or instruments. Earthly state of human concerns and existence. An indefinite multitude, quantity, or distance. System regulates to bring about specifics in the group based on value and natural characteristics. Current radiates electromagnetistics of sound through the air, same as your thoughts transmits it. You need to understand how magical this, uh, something like this every Wednesday can become. So you need to start uh, getting your calendar right, getting your schedule, your schedule right. You need to know how intention is straight out. All right, so I mean, these clues are given throughout the various languages was to piece the puzzle of this ancient history school back together again. And what we plan on doing, both of us, is bringing y'all some surefire dynamite. We're going to take this level up a notch. We're going to have stuff to do here. This is not just going to be about philosophies and theories. Shit that works. Peace. Back once again with Dr. Alain L. Bay. Tonight, we got a very special guest. My man Panic is here, and he will be building on esoteric understanding of consciousness. That's the reason why we played that last song, The Five Stages of Consciousness by Killer Army. And prior to that, we played Voodoo, you running for my magic, X-Clan. All right, I'm getting ready to bring in my co-host right now. Brother L, are you here? What man? Islam, boy. Islam, boy, how you doing tonight? Oh, uh, wonderful, wonderful. How, how the boy doing? You're doing well, doing well. You getting right, ready to get right. it popping up in here. You getting ready to get it popping up in here. You got um brother Panic, and um let's see if he's here. Brother Panic, are you with us? Yes. Can you hear me, brother? Oh yeah, we got you. Yes, yes, sir. Clear, oh, yeah, in peace. the building. Peace, brothers. Peace. All right. Peace. You know, let me know when you're ready for action, and we can get into. Oh, we ready for action right here. now. Just all right. right. Let's get into some of these things. Well, all right. First of all, I want to say. Thank you guys for having me here. It's wonderful to be here. <laughs> Dr. Right, Lee right. And Joe, you know, and I plan to do a few more of these. You know, we did right. this before, and I like the way this happened. A lot of people told me they liked the way that happened. So it just makes so much sense that we pay some attention mm-hmm. now to this situation, right. you know, to what we, to what you guys got going on. And then, you know, I think a lot of good things will come out of it. So the first yeah, exactly. one to start with, what we're going to talk about, because what I keep hearing is there's a lot of new guys to consciousness. There's a lot of new people getting involved with this information. Mm-hmm. And, right, right. and now that I've been doing these classes, which I'll um, later on in the show, I'll give all that information out. What I've been finding out as I'm a little bit more closer is confirming a lot of things that I felt anyway and I talked about for years that people are getting a surface-level understanding of this information, but the information right. that, that then does not go to step two, then to the step three. We're only going to use three steps in this case. We're going to use the right. model of the 5 percenter, knowledge, wisdom, and understanding. And to give you a more practical understanding, give the people a more practical understanding of how this breaks down, knowledge could be compared to sperm. It is information. 
And sperm alone, though it's packed with information, it, 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 it needs a process for it to become what in our third, in our example, as an understanding. Between process is that wisdom, and that wisdom could be compared to uh, the process of gestation, the nine months in the womb. So you're looking at um, sperm, nine months in the womb, then what they call the understanding or the baby, the manifestation. So no one is getting to the wisdom area portion of this, and no one is bringing forth, any, or very few people are bringing forth true understanding in the entirety of what it is we're studying, as opposed to you may have some breakthroughs and people may be uh, uh, sharp in certain areas, but we are supposed to be, especially in this day and age, taking a holistic understanding to all of this information and all of these lecturers who have been giving us this, giving us plenty of uh, their study for quite some time now. Mm, so, exactly. And this is happening because what I found out is just in the Westerns, uh, Western society and their way of teaching us, um, we have learned to, to take in information in arrested development at a, certain, at, a cer- at a certain portion in our mind. So uh, an example of that would be how they would teach you in Bible school. They'll teach you these stories on a, ch- a child level, and they'll stop you there. You know, you believe mm-hmm. someone's feeding in the in the belly of a whale for three days, as opposed to understanding when you get when you go to the next level of that story, they're talking about a man getting swallowed into third dimension. The fish representing the gateway. You get what I'm saying? So they're talking about him surviving, coming through third dimension, and you can take the story from there, Jesus in the cave, and so on and so forth. So you're arrested developing. You believe these fairy tales on such a one-dimensional level. And this holds true to everything that we take in. And we have now took this sickness, this menial mediocrity, this mediocrity in terms of our learning, and applied it to ancient information, which wasn't meant to be learned in the same context you've been de-evolved into learning now. So we have to get some core things straightened out, not at what we're learning, just to be able to learn the shit that we're learning. You have to learn how to learn what it is all of these things you've been, uh, uh, all of these things we've been throwing around. And of course, the litmus test for that has now been Facebook. For the first time, conscious people have been able to communicate in such abundance, and and you can go from what we're what we're seeing there. So I already knew this from Facebook, but now having people in my class and doing it for we're coming up soon on maybe eight the eighth cycle of my class, and I do them once a month, and I'm seeing the same thing over and over. No matter how advanced or how unadvanced, it's all the same arrested development. So to narrow it down for this lecture, we need to understand first at least two words, and that's exoteric and esoteric. Exoteric mm-hmm. and esoteric. And the first thing I'm going to do, I'm going to give you the textbook, not my definition, the textbook definition of exoteric. Exoteric refers to, and this is Wikipedia shit, you know, web shit, you can look for yourself, refers to the knowledge that is outside and independent from anyone's experience and can be answered or ascertained by anyone. So clearly, that tells us there that exoteric information is general information. It is mundane information. So we need to understand. So just because you say Mayat and Oshun and Patar, if you have an exoteric understanding of it, you're only accessing what anyone can access. So you may feel better about yourself, because to your mm-hmm. Christian friends, when you say pata, you somehow get them antsy, or they sometimes go, wow, you're a magical, special guy for knowing something I didn't know. But this information that you still ascertain is still accessed by the masses unless you're able to penetrate into these energies, because that's all it really is. So it's an experience that can be ascertained by anyone. Common sense. It is distinguished from... It, it is distinguished from internal esoteric knowledge. So they're already telling you esoteric and exoteric are opposites. And we're going to get into the understanding of esoteric. Exoteric relates to the eternal, eternal reality as opposed to one's thoughts or feelings. 
So you're talking about general information opposed to what it is you've come to feel or understand based upon the process of obtaining knowledge, the process of wisdom, and then the process of understanding. There's a book, it's uh, Veronica Irons. It may be very hard to get. It was one of the books I got out of a used store from Strands from the 60s. But in it, she goes through how debates, arguments, and common thought was irrelevant to the Egyptians, the Camites, because they understood that there were many paths to find this light. So the way you found this light may be different from the way I found this light. The only thing that you would see in common is their understanding of how they dealt with knowledge itself. You get what I'm saying? So the knowledge you're dealing with is just as valuable as the next man's knowledge as long as that knowledge is going through the process with you. So now I'm not talking about you're studying this versus he's studying that. Knock yourself crazy. There's a reason you're studying it. What we're talking about is how this information comes in, how 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 it is planted in you, and then how it now makes the reality, your reality change. And that's what we're talking about here. So exoteric is common sense information. Um, but esoteric, you start to deal with your own thoughts and your own feeling because the journey is within. We'll go in, into that a little bit more. It's the knowledge, uh, exo, we're still on exoteric. Exoteric is the knowledge that is public as opposed to secret. Mm-hmm. The knowledge that is pu- public as opposed to secret. It is required that the exoteric, exoteric knowledge come easy or automatically. It is referenceable and reproductible. So we understand this is information that is reproductible and always be able to be referenced. Now, we need to understand, with that understanding of esoteric understanding, that, that definition, now we, we, we understanding that looking at Facebook, you must now understand that you're looking at esoteric mundane information. No matter, just because you're saying names that you're not used to saying, but it's the same regurgitated information over and over again. Easy obtainable. Easy referenced. Baphomet has a Wikipedia page. Easy reproduced. Copy and paste all day. You rarely hear anyone saying anything that has been a breakthrough about what they have accomplished or what they have realized based upon their thoughts or feelings on my eye. This is rare. Mm -hmm. And even when they try to do that, it's still, you've heard it all before, which means you're taking what was originally esoteric knowledge and you have an exoteric understanding of it. So you you have made... This information mundane. So just by talking about it, just by saying the word melanin, kundalini, chakras, pineal, yin-yang, merkaba, and all the rest of that shit does not mean you're doing anything. All it means is you're taking esoteric words or words usually connected with esoteric ideas and making them exoteric fads, if you will. How do I know this? Well, I know this for many examples as I laid out, but here's another great example. Richard King, and I know Brother Aleem knows who Richard King is, the master black teacher, a black man on melanin. Just had a, 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 a Shabazz just brought him in for a, a lecture in New York. Not many people showed up. In my opinion, to see Richard King speak will probably be one of the greatest things you could possibly accomplish in your conscious lifestyle. So to not do it means you don't understand what it is was being presented for you. Therefore, mm-hmm. yet another example of all this melanin that you talked about because you now have an exoteric understanding of it, because you have an exoteric understanding of it, you don't even understand when there's someone with an esoteric, who had an esoteric, gave us an esoteric understanding of melanin, you don't even go to honor him or see how much this is in him, or half don't even know who he is. Still on exoteric. In the religious context, the term exoteric is mostly used in conjunction with religions. And spirituality is esoteric. 
So now we talk right. about people who claim to be spiritual, which means by that definition, you should be dealing with esoteric information, which is what exactly. we're going to be getting to. But you're dealing with exoteric information, which I've already proven. So that means you're dealing with a religious mindset with new hot words, chakras, <laughs> Krishnas, right. kundalinis. Right. You get what I'm saying? Pineal. Right. You're dealing with, mm -hmm. you have an exoteric understanding of esoteric shit. See, what you've got, what, what white folks got, and I hate to bring them up, is the hard study of our science. What you got was pride. You walk around saying, I'm better than whitey because I have melanin, he's a beast, and I don't eat that. Why? Because he's made you an exoteric entity. When you, were, when you are the master of the secrets, esoteric, esotericism, or esoteric secrets, which we'll get to that definition so you understand the difference in detail. Now, in esoteric spirituality, it shifts, uh, with the teaching shifts, the believer's focus, no, I'm sorry, with exoteric, exoteric, the a teaching shifts the believer's focus away from the exploration of inner self oh. and it towards the adherence of rules, laws, and an individual God. Exoteric oh. information primarily shifts the believer's focus away from the exploration of the inner self and towards the adherence to rules, laws, in an, indiv in an individual God. So while you think you're dealing with Anubis and Ptah and Haru, it's still the one individual God you're dealing with. Still. Yeah. It's still the one mentality that you have. Exoteric mentality that you've been trained since the day or been brainwashed, mind control, into understanding this is how you learn. And we're going to get into a little bit of some notes I have with Swallow DeLubis where he talks about the cerebral mind versus the matters of the heart. The term exoteric may also reflect the notion of divine identity but outside and different from the identity of a human, whereas esoteric notion claims that the divine is discovered within the human identity, within the human identity. So why you raise up your arms and your hands and your pineal and your kundalini? Because you're trying to figure out the secret of your arms and, and, and kundalini and your bones and your heart chakras and all of that. You're not raising them up that's the, as, as, they, as standalone human organs and, and doctrine systems that somehow are more magical than a goat's if you will, or camels, if you will. You know what I'm saying? Like, I've heard people, well, the black woman's womb is so divine. To a roach, a roach womb is divine. You get what I'm saying? It brings more roaches here. The context in which we see it, that's a pest. But to a roach, it's divine. So we're looking at, well, the black woman's womb, to us, that is divine. But something greater than the human, which is what you are, you're just a pest or a problem, if you understand that context. You get what I'm saying? So your ego is telling you this is the greatest and this is the greatest and I'm the greatest and our black hair is the greatest. Like I said earlier, you got a lot of pride while they got science. They're not worried about looking cute. You're worried about looking cute. We're in 2012 and they're still making songs about how great our black hair is. You get what I'm saying? We don't even believe our own own shit because we don't understand the secret. We understand this self-esteem, which is related to the exoteric mindset. A Buddhist statement, all that we are arises from what we have thought. So now, because we have an exoteric mindset, all that we thought is the manifestation of why we haven't gotten anywhere. We have to have now changed our thought to the esoteric mindset. Now let's define esoteric. All right. Esoteric or esotericism or esotericism signifies the holding of esoteric opinions or beliefs that is ideas preserved or understood by a small group of those specially initiated or rare and unusual interests. 
This, in a nutshell, at one point, was supposed to uh, define the conscious community. Where are unusual interests? That's why everybody else was doing their thing, and it was a small group of motherfuckers doing their thing. Esoteric. This was before Facebook, before MySpace, before Yahoo 360, before Yahoo Groups, and Aline was there to bear witness. It was a small group. This is why the, the, the group and the information was a little bit more pristine because that's what it, that's what, that was the nature of an esoteric mindset. A small group that has ideas preserved or understood by especially initiated. Now, you need to understand, I'm going to go through initiation and the understanding of what initiation means. See, because, to be clear, now, now that we know what exoteric means, if I'm doing initiations that were outmoded, outdated, routine, has nothing to do with you, then I'm, I have now taken, let's just say, this initiation process that was so pristine and made it exoteric as well. It doesn't mean nothing to you. For instance, this is the example I give in class. If initiation was for me to show you a gun and you are Theo Huxtable, this will impact your psyche so much it will take you from one level to another level based upon either the trauma or the big event that you've never seen before. You're Theo Huxtable. But if your name, if you're the son of Tukey Williams and you have grown up as a crip and you've seen guns every day, I cannot initiate you with showing you a gun. This means nothing to you. It doesn't impact your psyche. You get what I'm saying? So that, that one initiation for you based upon your life is not the same for Theo based upon his life. So, for instance, when we are in Africa under the, under, under the sun, if I'm in a culture where we eat a certain way, sleep a certain way, our grandmothers are treated a certain way, we're buried a certain way, we're born a certain way, we fuck a certain way, we marry a certain way, then you are in a psychological, you are in a psychological routine. The initiations that are crafted for you is to break that psyche to bring you from one level to another level in initiation. Mm -hmm. So you cannot, you cannot take someone who grew up in America and give them an African, uh, African initiation because it means nothing to them. If you were going to do an initiation, which is nothing more than a ceremony for the most part, it would have to be something conducive to what's happening here. You get what I'm saying? Or to what's happening to you to shock that psyche. So initiation is also someone who is sharing secrets with you, is which what lecturers have been doing for a long time, which is what's happening to you now. So to listen to this information is also a form of initiation. If you were homeless, you came back and became a fucking wizard. Then you have been initiated through your homelessness. You get what I'm saying? So initiation or initiation ceremony is, 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 is different things. You get what I'm saying? And it's not needed for you to go through a ceremony for you to go to one next level to the, to the next. The idea is something must happen where it changes something on the in, inner in you. That's the wisdom process that I was talking about for it to be an esoteric event. You, what experience, not just because you changed your name to Mayat, I had a dream, which everyone dreams every night, so that's no longer esoteric. It's about can you go into your dream and come out with whatever it is you, 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 you're trying to come out with or, or, or make some changes in your reality. That would say, okay, you're doing more esoteric dream work um, by basically lucid dreaming, astral traveling, things like that. Just having a dream is not enough. Um, the term esoteric derives from the Greek com word, uh, compound word eso, es or eso, which means within, thus returning to a more inward mystic. And, and, um, uh, and the antonym is exoteric. That's the opposite side. So it means within. It means going within. This shit is going within. The etymology, let's see if this is even worth it. Because um, we're going to go on to it. But let's, let's see the words. Well, let's go on a little bit more on initiation because I wrote a little bit of that down. Initiation is the rite of passage or a ceremony, marking the entrance or acceptance into a group or society. So it's a rite of passage or a ceremony. That's all initiation really is. So it can come many ways. These pre-described or must be initiated is a bunch of bullshit. 
sitting around um, um, by you reading a book, you doing the work in the book, you having your own realization is self-initiation. Simple as that. It can it could also be a formal admission to adulthood in a community or a formal co- uh, uh, component. It's a extended sense. Uh, it can also signify a transformation in which the initiate is reborn into a new role. Simple as that. You're reborn into a new role. So this could be self-inflicted as well. Another aspect of that before we go into the Swallow Delubis notes, is in the occult science or in esoteric science, because that's what it really is. If I had to define myself, I would be an end-time eschatologist. I deal with eschatology, uh, uh, I deal with es- uh, eschatolic information about end-time events, shit that's happening now. Everything I've talked about is shit you can do, shit you can do now. You need to look for that. People who are just talking and telling you things about themselves and how special they are is a bunch of bullshit. Look for if someone's going to teach you and they're truly initiating you and they're giving you esoteric information, they had to have realized it because that's what makes them the initiate. They have, I've been able to tell you about experiences that I had and be able to say, you can do this too and this is how you can do it. That's real, that's, that's, that's Esoteric information that you've been getting from me. Esoteric information is just me just telling you a whole bunch of shit. My act is this and Pataz, this ain't a bunch of fat, fancy names, so you get to go, he's knowledgeable. That's not enough. Now, in this esoteric information, there is science on this, and they call it the right hand path versus the left hand path. The right hand path is basically the path where you participate with everyone else. Now, see, when you say that, it makes it sound as if we're talking about Christianity or something corrupt. No, we're talking about things that are good, too. So if you was, in most people's reference, if you was in Egypt or Africa and you were doing African shit and there was a chicken in every pot and they took care of the ancestors and the elders, you know, and you've done, and you were born into this and you went through the rites of practice, you were a good hunter, a good gatherer, you dressed accordingly, you danced accordingly, you ate accordingly, you will be considered the right-hand path. They don't expect nothing new to come from you. You are a good person, and it's more advanced than sitting around slapping a tambourine, but there's nothing new. That's the right-hand path. The left-hand path on the other side is the journey of the hero. It's the one who tries something else to realize something that the norm or the exoteric people are not doing. Exoteric is not bad, it's just normal. You get what I'm saying? This is not bad versus good, it's just normal versus someone who claims to be conscious and the idea of consciousness and and the purpose of consciousness is as we pointed out earlier, as it was, it's someone with unusual in, interests, rare, specifically a, a, a initiate a small group. That's what consciousness was. The small, the, the one percenter, the, the poor righteous teacher. And, and their idea or their mentality was they're walking the left-hand path. We're trying not to do what everyone else does for that ultimate realization. If you're confused on this, you could just look at the story of Shaka Zulu. That's someone who was following the left-hand path. While everyone was doing Zulu shit, he was the one who tried everything different. And that's why the stories about him and not fucking Mantumbe, who did everything that they were supposed to be doing. So you'll hear, you know, and I'll hear people, go, oh, Patty, you know, you're on Facebook and you got a lot of funny pictures. You know, I don't appreciate that. This shit is going to get serious. And I'm like, from who? Facebook is not fucking Egypt. It's Facebook. You're supposed to be tagging people on Facebook. You get what I'm saying? I have this shit. Exactly. I have this shit under control. My library <laughs> at home, we ain't gonna be playing tag. But that's but that's besides the point. That's for me because this is an inner work. This is not a work trying to show everybody how much you know all day. That's exoteric stupidity. Yeah, that's human yeah. shit. You get what I'm saying? It's like in my face. Right, right, right. Just just observate. Right, exactly. Just 
basic observation. You say my yacht, I say I say potato, 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 my yacht, potato, all fucking day. But it's not doing anything. It's not teaching anybody, and it shows. You don't know, have to. I've told this example in class. When's the last time you told anybody how great it is to tie your shoe? Because you don't, or put on a shirt. Because these are things you know. Usually, the things you're finding out are the things you talk about all day. The things that are new to you. You're not even quite convinced. So that's what you're talking. About. I'm doing yoga today, and you're talking all day because it's new. If you've been doing yoga for 20 years, you probably ain't gonna fucking talk about it. It's so natural. So when I hear right. people talking about it, I'm like, you didn't take this. You're showing me that you can take this stuff, and it's not a natural part of you. I don't feel this need to have to go on Facebook and say, guess what happened to fucking today with Pata? Because it's, this is not new. This, I've done the knowledge, wisdom, and the understanding to become it. There was a time where you had, when you were learning to tie your shoe, you had to sing songs to remember. First you take the loop, and then you take the loop, and, and then you flip the loop. And it's like, then after a while, you just sit, you had to focus. And after a while, you, you, when's the last time you even said it? Because you know it, it's innate. So for, for they understand an uh, esoteric mindset because it's a, ch- uh, a journey within, this information becomes innate in you. When it becomes esoteric, you become a copycat, and it doesn't penetrate. So the big joke on you while you fucking walking around here talking about the Illuminati, the big joke on you is you don't even understand how to study your fucking science. You get what I'm saying? So they could put, that's why you're thinking you thinking you doing something, you need to be quiet, and I can't say that online. You can say it online all day. They don't care what you say. Right. As long as you not you don't have an esoteric understanding of it, you can talk about any of that shit all day. When you have an esoteric understanding, that's when they start shutting down your, your Facebook. They, they shut down my Facebook because I put a picture up of my yacht. Who is the fuck are you kidding I'm saying they shut down, they shut down your Facebook because <laughs> you put up a picture of my yacht. They ain't scared of that shit. No way. I'm saying because you, you know, there's fucking 75 my yachts. If they was trying to end my yacht, there was nowhere to start. I have 75 my yachts on the wall right now. You know what I'm saying? Guess what I did today? I don't know, but I bet you it's something to do with balance. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, brother. That's 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 what I was talking about. Um, a couple of weeks ago when I put that post up, I was talking about, you know, when we have shows on, you know, uh, you know, when I write a talk about, you know, you get into the UFOs and the aliens or the Illuminati, mm-hmm. everybody there. But when we start talking about the science of healing, you know what I'm saying, how to utilize right. your body, channel or vessel, right. you know what I'm saying, how right. to speak and communicate with spirits, all these types of things, right. you know what I'm saying, all of a sudden, you know what I'm saying, niggas disappear. That's Exactly. That because they they don't want you to actualize it. An esoteric, a esoteric mindset is the actualization of all the shit you're talking about. So in other words, no one's going to step two. And I know this because now I'm taking this survey a little bit more intimately in my class. Okay, right. class. What are chakras? Everyone knows the infinite. Well, they're 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 light vehicles. They're spinning wheels. I'm like, well, you know, thank you Wikipedia, but tell me how does what does it benefit you? How how do you make this benefit you? What what what, what is it that you can do? Tell me in what uh, what's an altar? It's a sacred place. Like no, that's not an altar. So I'll give you one line. It's the physical representation of your subconscious mind. Mm-hmm. Therefore, you mm-hmm. have a physical way to work with your subconscious mind, which is what all this shit is about. In a, in a sentence, you get what I'm saying. Mm-hmm. In a sentence, and, and you know, I do this all the time in class, give it to them in a sentence, they like, damn, in the one sentence, that explains us because nobody's really trying to explain it to you. Everyone's trying to show you how much they know, and you mm-hmm. feel ostracized for saying, I don't know. And I know you don't know, because I've seen you beat around the bush and not know. And I know you don't know there's a process. It's what we learn in my class. Now, well, let me get this out the way. Uh, my class stuff. Um, I do classes online, um, or if you're in uh, you're in Atlanta, you can come to the house. You have to email me at panicpack at hotmail dot com p a n i c p a c k at hotmail dot com to find out information for the classes. We are about to start up the May cycle, so now is the time to get in these classes. 
um, these classes, and I've, um, when I send you the information, the people who's taking the classes, their emails are there. Some of them said you can give their, so you can ask them. You don't, it could go beyond what I'm just saying. You can ask the people who are there, uh, uh, who are already taking the class, how their lives have changed dramatically. I'm hearing constantly, constantly, I get it now. I've heard from people, I've been in this shit for 20 years, but after taking the class, I get it now. Because what mm-hmm. they hear, uh, because what, what's going on is they're hearing in lecture form what they think they're learning. And very mm-hmm. few lecturers are really teaching. They're really giving a lot of shit. And even the ones who are teaching, it's hard to do in the lecture. There are subjects that I covered in lectures that I'll take one subject, and we were in the class for three hours on the mm-hmm. one subject. So if you're really teaching, you get what I'm saying? So a class environment, this is not an extended lecture uh, a lecture that I'm doing. This is a real teaching, and you walk away with the tools of how to enter no. So this is probably one of the most important things you can do if you're serious about your uh, work and your esoteric understanding and going to the next level, and I do it a very cheap price. So P-A-N-I-C, P-A-C-K at Hotmail.com. And as always, for the pioneer land, the herb packs. I got a fresh stack of herb packs, love packs, uh, ancestor packs, all my different natural herbs. None of them are drugs for all you new people. They're all organic, everything you can eat. Um, but you either smoke them or drink them with, as a, with a tea if you're not a smoking. What they, uh, if you're not a smoker, you can use it as a tea. What, they do, what it does, it helps to clear away this film over your pineal gland. This is pineal tea. It helps to decalcify it. This is old hat. I've been selling this for three years. I couldn't go on for three years if this shit wasn't working. This shit works. It's probably one of the easiest things you do, can do to jumpstart, along with your study, opening up that pineal for self-realization. So email me, panic pack at Hotmail. Just email me for a list, meditation CDs, all that. But I'm really saying you should get into this class. You should really get into this class. This class is what's happening right now. And I don't know if you want to do anything or say anything, Aline, but I have more notes from my Swallow Delubis. And right, I right. Well, I definitely want to um, say, um, y'all out there listening, if y'all haven't been part of um, Brother Panic's class, I definitely um, would tell you that you definitely need to join his class. You know, um, as you know, Brother Panic drops the information. There's no doubt about it. Um, you know, I've been I've been knowing Brother Panic since 2004. You know what I'm wow. saying? And, um, you know, we've been um, kicking it ever since. You know what I'm saying? Um, over the years, you know, um, getting this information in, getting this knowledge in. You know, so I mean, check them out. Oh yeah, oh yeah. yeah I know Liam since 2004. Yeah. He said, "Man, oh man, Liam's one of the master teachers, boy." Yeah, sir. Oh, Khadija just yelled down and said, what's up, Aline? Peace. My queen, he said, peace. Peace, queen. All right, so we're going to get into a few of these Swallow the Lubis uh, things. And it, like I said, I'm just looking over some old notes, and th- these are some of his things about esoteric information that we can understand. And R.A. Swallow the Lubis is um, – uh, he's an old Egyptologist. He's the guy who did, he decoded the Temple of Luxor as the Temple of Man. Um, a little bit, his daughter married John Anthony West, who you'll see around. John Anthony West did Magical Egypt, I think is the name of the series. you probably see it on YouTube. And Swallow the Lubis is one of them dudes that went heavy on the hint that this shit is the black man shit. You know what I'm saying? Gerald Massey went all out. This is the, this is the black man shit. And he was out he, he, uh, in the scholarly community. He was uh, basically kicked out. They did no grants, no nothing. How dare you say this is nigger shit? Swallow the Lewis was heavy on that and, and hinted towards it. Um, John Anthony West does the same thing, but he still uh, uh, holds on to his whiteness, if you will. You know, mm, he took okay. in in, a, in a magical Egypt. He talks uh, this. It took me a minute to get it. But what he talks about is, and in, in, I have it in my book, it's like Matthew 13, where he's talking about talents. Like, uh, in, in, in the story goes, um, Jesus sees these three men. One has five talents, one has ten talents, and one has one talent, something like that. So Jesus tells them, 
bury your talents. I'll be back next year, and we'll see what's going on. The guy with uh, five talents buries it, becomes ten. The guy with ten becomes twenty. Good, you go to heaven. Well, job, well done. The guy with one talent throws it away. Jesus asked him, "Well, why didn't you bury your talent?" He said, "It was just one talent." He said, "Mean nothing." So everlasting hell and such and such. Now, two things on a metaphysical level. They're just talking about the laws of attraction. You know, in the laws of attraction, they'll tell you don't focus on what you don't have, focus on what you do have, so that will uh, double in abundance. So instead of saying the lean has ten and I only have five, just say I love my five, so that five will multiply, as opposed to saying I don't have ten like a lean. So on, the, on, on that metaphysical level, I'm try- I couldn't figure out why he was telling that story. And then it occurred to me, I said, oh, because when you're studying this shit, you're around, there's, there's no question you're around an abundance of niggas on these walls in Egypt. So he's telling white folks, look, we only have one talent, and, um, but we still can't throw it away because all of this shit is black. So we still, he's basically codedly, encoded telling white people we still can benefit from this Egypt, Egyptian science, even though it's clear it's not us. You get what I'm saying? I said, oh, so in other words, he's not outwardly admitting that is niggas, but I've seen mm-hmm. him admit that it was niggas. And that would be coming from his father-in-law, because that's his father-in-law's work, R.A. Swallow de Lewis. So let me give you some quotes when I was studying Swallow de Lewis back then. Esoteric is, esotericism can neither be written nor spoken, and hence cannot be betrayed. One must prepare to one must be prepared to grasp it and to hear it. What he's talking about is all the talk that we do as lecturers. You you can remember when Morphe said, "I can only lead you to the door." He was talking about you must walk through it because there's a point in only only lecturers, myself included, can give you his information. The sperm that was one of Phil's favorite lines. All I got, all you, all I gave you was the information, because that's. But for you, the wisdom and the understanding process is yours. So therefore, again, it cannot be written or spoken. The esoteric understanding, you get what I'm saying, or the I should really say the deeper esoteric understanding. That means it can't be corrupted by or elite. See, and that's enough. That's how you know. People have an exoteric understanding. Oh, Kaleem said that. Oh, Panic said that. And I don't agree with that. That's not right. And exact, that, that's because you have an exoteric mindset. You're not right. here for that. If you don't agree with that, move the fuck right along. You get what I'm saying? Right. You either have an esoteric understanding, you take what you need. I'm sure you've heard that. You take what you need and make that a part of your inner work because it's all up to you. So you have to vibrate with it because ultimately internally is where this where this this alchemy is worked out so it cannot be it's, it's not written or spoken hence it cannot be betrayed it cannot be betrayed one must be prepared to grasp it to see it to hear it I means it's all on you this entire quest is your quest one of the most powerful things or one of the I don't want to say it's the most powerful things but one of the things that Bobby Hammond said that was one of them aha moments for me when he was on that love tape, and he's like, well, most of us, and I'm paraphrasing, but most of us, when we talk about love and love, it's like what that bitch did to me or what she's supposed to be doing for me or what that queen has done for me and my queen is so wonderful or my king and da da da, da. He said, no, this is your heart. It's your chakras is your kundalini, and ultimately is your love. It, the person is just the object in which you're releasing yourself or releasing these things. It's your heart chakra. So it's all up to you. Now, from that Buddhist statement that I brought up, all that arises is from what we have thought. That's just another way of saying the mind is all and the all is mine. You get what I'm saying from the laws of Tehuti. Meaning they're telling you that every single ounce of anything known, unknown, will be known, was known, is from your own mind, from your own perspective. It's always up to you. And nobody wants to have the balls enough to make that choice. 
because that's the real choice you're doing with esoteric knowledge, saying I, saying, I am God and all that stuff that you claim to say from the perspective of being cute or from the perspective of being a, of an ego, you, what you need to start saying is I am that, and now I take res- responsibility for all things in existence. Therefore, nobody's fucking with you here. Nobody's doing this there. Nobody's doing that there. It's all you, and it's all your inner work. It cannot be corrupted, and you must be prepared to grasp it because it's all about you. Another statement. Spirit is found only in spirit, and esoteric is the spiritual aspect of the world, inaccessible to cerebral intelligence, inaccessible to cerebral intelligence meaning you cannot figure this shit out with logic. It does not work that way. To understand spirit, you must become spiritual. To understand esoteric understanding, you must take a spirit or a a hidden approach to the hidden or to the secret. You cannot logically talk about aliens and Illuminati and think you're doing something spiritual. You cannot eat fucking food and think you're doing something spiritual or non-spiritual. There's only one way to be spiritual, and that's to deal with spirits. Exactly. The ka, you get what I'm saying? Now, do all these other things help? Sure. They will help line up with your cause, your rituals, so your diet, you can factor it in. Don't think because of your diet, your, your vegetables are not the key to enlightenment. The key to the enlightenment, you must unlock within yourself. Vegetables may help you. You get what I'm saying? But then again, a state may help the next person. Why? Because it's all in your mind. What we arise is from what we have thought. The mind is all. So it's all what you say. So the exoteric understanding is why you must eat this way and must eat that way is the religious mindset obtainable to all. So when you see that uniformity, you see in religion. When you see it, uh, let me say that again. When you see in uniformity, you see in religion. So when we start seeing this uniform mindset, everyone's my eye, every girl's old shoe. You know what I'm saying? I show in my classes, there's 21 different old shoes. There's old shoes of the, the muddy waters. There's old shoes of the swamps. And you don't never see that old shoe on Facebook. I'm the old shoe swamp hoe. You don't see that. Everyone's honey old shoe. You know what I'm saying? The bumblebee old shoe with honey on their head. No one's the ocean of the swamp. You get what I'm saying? It's about ego. It's not even about the energy. So it's unacceptable to, to cerebral intelligence. In the Book of the Law by Alistair Crowley, they talk about uh, uh, those who will die with the dogs of reason. Basically, you in, we're coming into an era, and we are in that era now, this golden era, this era of Haru, this, um, and... Your reasoning no longer has a place. Your logical thought. So, and that logical thought has been built up. You got to remember, Jewel Pogram talked about the seven circuits of the brain. So did so did Brother Aline. And in that, what they're talking about is the white man can only go to the third circuit of the brain, which is the bird brain, which is intellect. So, and that manifestation on this planet is is what we agree to now. So if you're Einstein, you're somehow this great, one of the greatest men that ever lived, uh, uh, you're a doctor or a lawyer, this cerebral intelligence seems to reign supreme. They're still trying to figure out the universe with math, and they ain't even figured out this shit is music yet. You get what I'm saying? You can watch their science shows and see how bad they're doing. You get what I'm saying? So now, it, shit, they can't even dance. Now, so... These dogs of reason or this time has ended. He was talking about an era that was ending, this logical era that was ending. We're in this place now where the heart or instinct, and I'm going to get to that in these notes, should start to reign supreme. Your instincts should start to reign supreme. What gets in the way is your brain, which is the ego, which we could have a whole other thing on, but your brain or your reasoning is an interruption between what it is you know. Because I'm, I'm sure you heard that statement before when you became conscious. Someone told you, I know all of, you know all of this stuff already. You can't ask the question if you don't know it. And you sat there and said, oh, okay, that's deep, but you still didn't know what the fuck they were talking about. Well, mm-hmm. let's explain what they were talking about. What they were talk, Well, look at it on this way. 
to ask me a question about a skateboard, that must have means you had to see a skateboard. If you've never seen a skateboard, you couldn't even ask me a question on it. You get what I'm saying? It had to, you had to see it. It had to be somewhere for you to say, well, what is that and what's its purpose? So, that, so based upon that, that means something innate, something inside of you knows this information. That's why you're questioning it, and you already have the answer. That's why you're questioning it. Your lineage is what's divine. Your, what you are connected to uh, uh, quantumly is divine. Your birthright is divine, but if you don't do anything with it, it doesn't mean nothing. I can have a, I got a Lamborghini. Exactly. If it doesn't leave my garage, I'm not doing anything with it. So you guys are not doing just because you have melanin is not enough. In other words, these things have to be activated. These things have to be activated. That's what Aline teaches you through breath, activated through meditations, activated. You get what I'm saying? You have to activate these things. That's what these practices are for. But ultimately, not to do it just to say you did it, to do it to have a realization. No one's having any realizations or very little realizations. I know this because it's a class. I'm not just passing judgment. I'm looking for it. Remember, I'm a guy who's been running my mouth for hours and hours on it. I'm not looking to down you. I'm looking to say, God damn it, it's worth me losing my voice all the time. You get what I'm saying? Because people are having their own realizations. What I see is just a bunch of religious swagger going on there. All right. Those who profess to reveal esoteric for such teachings are charlatans. So those who profess that they can teach you esoteric shit are charlatans. They should be saying what Morpheus said. I can show you all the doors, but you have to walk through them. Look at what right. Morpheus was doing. You have to believe it. You have to convince it. Why is it working now? He's starting to believe it. We're not talking about there's a difference between blind belief and believing what you know. I could believe in Santa Claus. That's blind belief. Or I could believe in Santa Claus because I went to the North Pole to visit him. So I believe in Santa Claus because I went to see it myself. I'm saying, so I believe in what I know as opposed to blind belief. So when they talk about belief in, in, in esoteric science, they're talking about believing in what it is you know based upon your work. So, when they, so, so someone who says, I can make you, I can initiate you, and you're in the club. I can do this. You can pay me $30. I initiate you, and you're in the club. is a fucking charlington. By nature, because they can't teach it to you. They could just they could take you through a psychological ceremony or a process, but at the end of the day, you only set up to learn. You only set up. See, say, well, initiation in Africa, you cut off the fucking, which is a big deal to me, cut off the dick skin at age 18, let's just say. That doesn't make you a man. That symbolically makes you a man, or even better yet, in today's, uh, uh, a bar mitzvah. 13 years old, he has a bar mitzvah. Now he becomes a man. They say you don't become a man if you don't become bar mitzvah. It doesn't really make you a man. It's symbolic of it. But then you are now set up to learn things to become that man. So now that you have, in Africa, cut off your fatu, as they said in roots, you know what I'm saying, your dick tip, they was now able to get his spear, go on a certain type of a hunt. He was now prepped psychologically to learn what he needed to do to be a man. He now was prepped psychologically to remember in root, move out of his house, move with, uh, move, move with a woman. Remember, that, that was after they cut his dick tip. And then he said to his grandmother, I'm a man now. You can't tell me what you, what, and she said, I will beat your ass. Don't get carried away, nigga. You get what I'm saying? It doesn't make you an al- a- a actual man. It just symbolically says you're ready to go to the next step. So any so initiation was like prepping you for the next step. So anyone who's telling you I can initiate you and you're in the club is a fucking charlatan. They they may try to explain the implication of a certain word or a formula with this conventional secret, but it's uh but with regard to Satan science, we will never be able to do more than put one word in another place. And at best, this will be bad literature replacing a simple idea. 
when most people have their realizations with me or by, or they tell me the realizations they have with themselves, it is simplified. Know what most people say in my classes constantly, constantly, and I'm sure Liam can attest to this with anything you do. I do that all the time. I've been doing that. Yeah, but that's that. I, yeah, that's astral travel. Yeah, no, no, that's how you talk to your father. Like a dude in my class is like, well, I had this crystal. I used to rub this crystal, and my father would come, and I was, and I kept thinking about my father. And my friend called me the other day and just called me about my father, and he said this and after that. So panic. How do I contact my father? I said, Well, God, that's it. What the fuck else you think is going to happen? You know what I'm saying? That's it. So he, but he's like, Oh, but I've been had this, and I've been was doing that. I was like, Yeah. Know why? Because it was just a simple idea. So listen again. Regard to sacred science, they will never be able to do more than put one word in place of another. At best, it will be bad literature or a lecture explaining a simple idea. So, I've done this experience, experiment plenty of times, and it's worked. I put this in my status message. Those that come forth, which forthcoming and which will not know, to only realize what they have not known is known, yet to be known, will it be known to be found out, only to find out that it was a known thing? To find out the self-realization and the realization of self is, I do not like green eggs and ham. I do not like them, Sam, I am. And niggas is, uh, that mindless bullshit, niggas is putting, damn, Panic, you so deep. Damn, Panic, how do you come up with that? (laughs) You know what I'm saying? And I'm sitting there like, this is this is an exercise in placing one bad word with another, taking a simple idea, which this was actually no idea, and turning it into something else where you think is deep. So all I have to say is words like now that seem deep, pineal, kundalini, chakra system, indoctrine glands, hotep, melanin, and I'm taking esoteric words, to your exoteric understanding and just taking a simple idea, which is the nature of you. Your nature is the simple idea. And just turning into bad literature, bad lecture, bad information. And in our in, in our hu- current humani- uh, human situation, stuck, religious. You get what I'm saying? The true initiate can guide a gifted p- pupil to help him travel more quickly along the path of consciousness. And the pupil, upon reaching stages of illumination by his own inner light, will reach the esoteric or such teaching directly. No one can do it for him. Now, let me just read that shit again so you can understand this point quite thoroughly. The true initiate can guide a gifted pupil to help him travel more quickly along the path of consciousness. And the people, upon reading, reaching stages, stages, this comes in stages, of illumination by his own inner light, will read the esoteric of such teaching directly. No one can do it for him. So let me be absolutely clear. This has been always will be, and never will be nothing else but your goddamn journey. The best I could do, the best Elysium has been doing, the best as any of these teachers have been doing has been guiding you through a quick path of your consciousness. When I look back at what, because it is no secret, I spent a thousand hours of phone time with Bobby Hemmett early in my study. And the overall thing I say I took out of that, I, I totally get it. What made me, or well, what I feel to be successful in this study is this was, I never took my eyes off the fact that this was my study. There's never a time I call Bobby Hemingo, what does that mean? I would always call him and say, well, I'm studying that. What did you get out of it? Or based upon his years and years of either studying the subject his age, being a little bit older, being on the scene more, he was able to give me a, 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 a history. Well, 
When this writer came, then it was that writer. That writer picked up off of that writer. In fact, the Swallow de Lubis that we're reading now, he's the one who is, no, well, his son-in-law is John Anthony West. He'll give me the outside understanding of what's going on, which is actually probably harder. So when I did study, for myself, it was all guided. I had a context of someone who had experience, uh, 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 the initiate. He was the initiate, and as the pupil, his experience I was able to benefit from. You get what I'm saying? So I'm trying to offer the same thing, experience where you as the pupil study whatever you decide that tickles your fancy. Go crazy. But you need to understand. I'm trying to give you the way to understand and absorb information so you become this information or benefit from it. So this has always been your path. All right. Um, let's see what else we got. We got more. Um, thing. Now, mind you, uh, one of the greatest things that can help a Negro, you got to get that herb pack. You got to get that herb pack. Um, I don't know if y'all been playing with it. I don't know if you've been on the fence because there's still people. I've been listening to you for years. I'm finally getting that herb pack. Ain't no time to waste with that. When I tell you that shit is the that shit is the truth. I am telling you, that shit is the truth. It works. It works. It works. Um, like I said, don't trust me. Trust that it's been going strong for three years. Three mm-hmm. years. Internationally. There's not there's not a continent that herb pack didn't touch. Get on it. You need to try it. There's, and there's different configurations of the herb pack for your different needs. All right. So that, <laughs> you're going to need that for your pine needle. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> Original sin is the separation, hence the opposition of complementary aspects, um, whose merging makes the unity just as uh, 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 supposed colors red and green result in the colorless. What he's talking about is probably the original sin is actually the separation. I I, I don't want to make it. Let's just say an original sin or a one of the, uh, uh, and you don't even have to call it sins. The master problem or one of the ma- one of the master problems beyond just skin being sin is separation. You've been separated into polarity, and um, even when you deal with uh, the Kabbalion, which is nothing but the seven hermetic laws, a big portion of that, uh, the law of rhythm. Uh, the law of polarity, the law of vibration, um, at least those three out of seven are really talking about uh, an androgynous mindset as balance. That, and even the mayat that you're talking about, mayat is married to thought for thought, which is talking about the left and right brain, uh, left and right brain working together. Now, this balance, we need to understand we have to have a holistic mindset when, when we're picking sides on shit, it actually fucks us up. So when you're saying white people are good, black people are bad, when you pick that side, you're indulging in, for now, let's just call it this original sin, this idea of separation. Should we hold white people's hand? No, 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 I'm not saying that. We as, as occultists or eschatologists should be looking at perspectives. For instance, what I say is, if I was a white person, what the fuck would I do? Probably the fuck what they doing. You get what I'm saying? Listen to the shit that you know about them. No fucking melanin. No fucking real afterlife. No fucking history that's etched in the stars. All you got is the fuck. All you got is the Illuminati. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> it's not like you should be condoning it, but understanding it. Now, even on a lesson, so so instead of so they're doing this and they're doing that and do that. Now, I understand why they're doing that. Only should make you understand why you're doing what you're doing. You get what I'm saying? It only gave me this, to understand and say, well, if they're doing that and I understand why they're doing that, I don't understand why I'm sitting here on Facebook talking about them all day. I don't understand why I'm in the chat room talking about them all day. Because if they're doing what they got to do, what the fuck is it that I have to do? You better get into your science. Long story short. So on a more lesser level, when you get into this woman versus man shit, you get what I'm saying? If for lack of a better way of explaining it, let's call it the original sin. You're still 
but what you what you are indulging in is, is half your thought. And with half your thought, for all these people who like to throw this word around holistic, you're not doing the right thing. So this, that statement is talking about this holistic mindset. He's just uh, he's just uh, calling it the original sin, but this holistic. But it's one of the original separations that fucked us up. So you have to be able to see it from perspective. So to be able to tap as a male, I have to be able to look from the feminine perspective. So you, so I can, so so I'll hear people saying, "You got remember the girl? <laughs> remember the boys?" When you say, "I'm like, I'm so past that fucking argument." Get them saying mm-hmm. of girls versus boys, penis versus vagina. I mean, I've said it once. You're gonna die, and you may come back as a. I may come back as a woman. Then what am I? You know what I'm saying? Just your 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 penis and vagina is nothing but your earthly suit and separated. What you are goes beyond just those two things. This androgynous being. So when I'm talking about, it, I'm, I'm past penis and vagina, and that's because you have to be able to see it from the feminine perspective, and that's basically in the law of polarity. You know what I'm saying the law of gender. You know what I'm saying. Know that in every male thing, there's a feminine thing. In every feminine thing, there's a male principle. You get what I'm saying? So to be able to, when you start thinking like that, you start to change your polarity. You get what I'm saying? To that middle point, which is that God point or that black dot or that Christ energy and all of that, rest of that kind of shit. All right. Um, thus, the cerebral function is entirely based on the principle of crossing, as, for example, the right of... The brain is generally clo- controls the left side of the body. This is talking about what I just talked about, both uh, the, the female principle in the male and the male in the, in the female. You have to be able within yourself to be able to cross that mindset. doesn't mean you put on a dress and some pumps if you're a nigga. Just you be able to be able to look from her perspective. You not necessarily agree with it, but be able to see why a woman would say that, or the feminine energy, even be better. Not just a woman. I don't want to make this girls versus the boys. Just why the why this would come from the feminine side. See, we're stuck on them bitches be acting crazy, or these niggas be tripping. We still stuck on that. It's like, no, you're here to understand the mirror image of yourself. So if you came as a man, you actually came to study the feminine because you're looking at a mirror image of yourself, and you're you're outside. You have to be outside of yourself to study yourself. And exactly. vice versa for the woman, vice versa for the women. So you're just looking at two, and you've heard it many times, but we need to understand. Um, okay. Um, we must be aware of disting- distinguishing moments of cerebral intelligence from moments of intelligence of the heart. Remember, the Camite said you thought your, your true brain was in your heart. Your true brain is your intuition, is the part of you that knows. Your brain is a is a false representation of your heart. Uh, a. Rashad talked about when you're in the womb, you're shaped as a circle, then you first form into this lima bean. And when you're forming into this lima bean-like thing, your your brain is actually attached to your heart, and it's actually mimicking your heart, but a bad interpretation of it. And as you grow into the human, the brain becomes the portion of your ego or your cerebral intelligence, while the heart becomes the portion of you that knows. So that portion of you that's conscious is the heart. That's why Jesus, who represents consciousness, before it was that shit that you go every Sunday to and bang a tangerine to, it, you'll see the pictures of the symbol of him holding his heart or his heart on fire or his heart chakra because he represents that's the true Christ consciousness. Kether in in uh, Kabbalah is the middle point, which Kether represents the Jedi, um, which uh, which is uh, the Jedilla, spider of Osiris. But it's the the Jedi represents Kether because it's the middle point, and the, that that in Kabbalah touches every other Sifra, so it balances the Force. So the Jedi that balances the Force represents the heart chakra. It balance is your true brain now, or the gateway now. Um, so cerebral intelligence is your brain or your ego trying to mimic what it is or, or interpret what it is you think you are as a heart. So that's why you'll hear we're going green now. 
and you know these you know these white white people doing this shit ain't shit. It's a performance. That's from cerebral intelligence. We must go green because we must save the planet and we dress this way and we have dirty dreads and we eat honey you know, we eat honey 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 nut bread and all this kind of shit. And you look at that shit, you know, that shit ain't real. Why? It's cerebral, you know what I'm saying? But we fall into that shit too, you know what I'm saying? I I can't tell you all the lectures I call, yo, what's going on? Hey, what's up, it's Patty. Oh, whole cap. You know what I'm saying? They get into the whole cap mode. <laughs> like, but, you know, when they just thought I was, you know, the you know, bill collector, I, I do that shit all the time. You know what I'm saying? I call people for my classes. What's up, this is the cable company. Motherfuckers get real niggery. I don't know what you're talking about. I don't pay my bill. I'm like, I don't got no cable no more. <laughs> then it, it, a lot of them recognize my voice. Is this panic? Yeah. Oh, brother, panic, beloved. <laughs> I was so <laughs> beloved and shit. You know what I'm saying? So, but see, I don't take myself seriously. Taking yourself seriously is a form of the ego. The heart is a child. They call the heart. I talk about this in my classes. They talk about the heart is where the, the wounded child heals, because the three lower chakras um, are developed in, the, in up until puberty. So, as, as you're born. Um, your mother brings you home, depending on your crib, your living, does she hug you, does she breastfeed you, and all the rest of that, it starts to develop your root chakra. And then when you start to feel your sacral chakras uh, 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 develop when you start getting independent. That's my room. I don't like that's my favorite spoon, my, my favorite cup. Those are my toys. No, no niggas fuck that up because you wear hand-me-downs. Some niggas got to share milk. From the cereal and shit, you know what I'm saying? <laughs> so you know, you know your shit is dysfunctional. Then puberty is when you're in school. You know what I'm saying? You you get the Nikes or you don't prom date or you don't. You get the hot clothes or you're a bum. All of that's developed there, and that's really crucial because it tells you how you're going to tackle the world. When you become conscious is when you get into the heart chakra. That's the gateway, the Christ energy. So that's where you leave the wounded child behind. So when you hear me in detail, so you got to leave humanity behind. Fuck humanity. Humanity. Your chakras are nothing but humanity, which is nothing but emotions and morals, manufactured morals. So to, to be able to separate that or leave that wounded child behind happens in the heart chakra, which is when you hear me say, when you do this work, you must have no agenda because the, agenda, the only agenda you could bring in consciousness is from your lower chakras, is your lower self. Sinister in nature. So even if you tap into the higher chakras with your cerebral intelligence, I am tapping into my psychic power, my kundalini. It's not from your heart because most of them have an agenda. You get what I'm saying? I want to do this so I can do that and get the most this. So they, you bring that agenda from the lower chakras into the higher chakras. So your psychic centers... When you ever you ever hear someone read you and they'll be saying, "There's a spirit after you." No, you just talking about the same motherfucker in your sacral chakra that used to kick your ass in high school. So now spiritually, there's a spirit after you, and there's a spirit dirty this, and there's a spirit dirty that, and you need to do that, and you need to do this. No one is has when you have no agenda and you're doing this work. All all you bring is what you came with. You get what I'm saying? They they, they said that. Uh, I can't remember what uh, you, uh, whatever Bible, whatever you only, you only, only. Oh, they said that in Star Wars, you go in there with what you came in, came in with. You go in that cave with Yoda. Yoda was green. Yoda represented the heart chakra for Luke. Luke was becoming conscious. So he said, "What's in that cave?" He said, "You, you bring in there." He said, "You come out of there with what you came in there with." They're talking about his lower chakras, his 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 childhood, his animal mm-hmm. self. Mm-hmm. It's problems. You get what I'm saying? So you got to understand, for esoteric thought, for, for for your science, you have to leave that agenda alone. The first time I ever listened to a Bobby Hemmett tape, the first one was Darkness Something. This line always captured me, and I was able to tell Bobby this. Uh, I think it was Rudra who asked him, what did you get into consciousness for? He said, I wanted to study this to see where it took me. Even if it took me back to church, then I would go there. And for whatever this line stuck to me and everything I've studied on the advanced level, I had this agenda in mind. Like, let's just see where it goes. 
because most people study this shit for a reason. You get what I'm saying? And they only mm-hmm. look and find things for a reason. Rudger also said another interesting thing later. He said you can have a thousand books, but if there's a thousand Bibles, then it's worthless. You get what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. And I said, well, you know, that, that's, that's an interesting thing. You get what I'm saying? A thousand mm-hmm. Bibles are worthless. You get what I'm saying? Now, because if you have an agenda, like, I, I used to go to my friends of their Christian, their father, that nigga had an ill library, but they were all different versions of Bibles. I'm like, <laughs> this has got, this got to be the most ignorant shit ever. <laughs> so, so the idea here is, is like, uh, this cerebral intelligence, you couldn't tell him nothing. You get what I'm saying? To this nigga, I'm sure he believes that he is doing a damn thing. So now, let me see. Let's get with this instinct thing. So let me say that again. There's a difference between cerebral intelligence, which is esoteric, and intelligence of the heart. How do you, so? So you may just ask, well, how do you do this? You can't have an agenda. You got to just want to know this, just to know. Get what I'm saying? You got to want to know this, just to know. And then all of that shit, oddly enough, all that shit that you're trying to do, kind of works itself out. Because you put, because that's what, because that's gonna happen. You get what I'm saying? So all your finances, all your love interests, all of that. But you first need to clear the first thing, which, 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 which is you need to put that shit back in order. You get what I'm saying? You're not gonna do it with your ego, your cerebral intelligence. You're trying to find if I do that ritual, that's gonna happen. See, I explain rituals in my class, and none of that shit has to do with your brain. It has everything to do with altering your brain, shutting down your cerebral intelligence. You know what I'm saying? You watch, let me tell you, white boys, all the ones that white people say are great, Da Vinci, Newton, Copernicus, uh, Nostradamus, Einstein, Einstein, all of them in their diaries, this white boy was saying on the History Channel, in their diaries, all of them said they were contacted by spirits. How do you like those fucking apples, Tesla? How do you like those fucking apples? They all said they were contacted by spirits or otherworldly deities. All of them. They took, long story short, all of them white boys that, that have made these white breakthroughs are dealing with spirits. And you fucking around talking about the Illuminati? How dare you? How dare you? You know what I'm saying? What a waste of time. You get what I'm saying? What a waste of time and resources. You spent more time wondering if Beyonce is fucking saluting Baphomet, which is yours any fucking way. <laughs> and just the mere fact that this bitch is on, this bitch been on tour forever, I would just salute Baphomet just to go on tour. You know what I'm saying? But I, there's hope. There's hope. I went out, got out of Kroger's. This young nigga, my son's age, see my Boffer Man chain, said, yo, Boffer Man, what up? I was like, god damn, there's, there's hope here. This nigga's more advanced than you, nigga. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? He looked like a regular slack ass. You know what I'm saying? He's, this nigga was big up in Boffer Man. You get what I'm saying? Meaning he ain't scared of that bullshit. Shit. You know what I'm saying? Don't worry if Jay-Z is dealing with Boffer Man. <laughs> Shit, then that's confirmation. You know what I'm saying? If he is, that's confirmation you should be doing. Maybe you have a fucking hot album too. Because everybody's trying to rap. You know what I'm saying? I rap. Maybe your album will get hot. You know what I'm saying? And it's like, how dare you waste precious resources? You know what I'm saying? Look, motherfuckers will pay a million dollars to do every, to, to travel anywhere but within. When you find you don't have to leave your couch to find out all of this shit, you really be pissed. You get what I'm saying? It's the inner work. You need to get into some form of meditation. Aleem has been teaching people how to meditate since I remember. Since before I remember. I met him in 2004, got his lectures from prior to that, and he still was teaching people how to meditate, how to tap in. So there's no excuse. So at the very least, at the first process of meditation is your first steps at going within self, being able to shut down your cerebral intelligence and see what happens. It's not that hard. It's not that hard. Give it a lean if you don't, I mean, if you can't find a meditation, a lean has plenty of work you can get with. Now, let me see. What uh, does, uh, 
Okay, this is interesting. Does a plant thrusting upward have the mentality to understand the sky? But make no mistake, there's an intelligence in, in, a, in a precise characteristic or a nature of that entity that makes, them, makes a plant move upward towards the sky. Instinct. So what he's saying here is the plants that reach up towards the sky, if you ask a plant, why are you going towards the sky? He ain't giving you no fucking lecture, no breakdown. Oh, beloved, I reach the sky for the neutronic photosynthesis. <laughs> he ain't doing all that shit. His nature is just to do what it does. So your cerebral intelligence or your ego gets in the way of the nature of your heart to do what it does. Why are you a conscious? Because that's the nature of your heart saying something's wrong. What is consciousness? Consciousness is to say, I'm aware something's wrong. Just to be conscious is not really a compliment. You get what I'm saying? You, you're conscious, and that at least says, I'm aware something's wrong. Being conscious does not mean enlightenment. Enlightenment is something you must attain. That light is within yourself. Uh, is we, uh, what time does the show end? At 10, Aline? Probably goes into overtime. Yeah, but we, we can go to 11. I'll if you want to. Okay, then we'll go to 11. But I want to get some Q and A in, so I'm a. Right. Let me see. Um, I'm because we can. You, you know, we'll come you back. Half, I, I already half, said, you got another half okay. an hour to go in, and then um, we can do um, question and answer for about an hour. Okay, let's see. Maybe I'll go on for a little bit more. I got because I got more statements, but like I said, I think. Um, you know, I've been really convinced that me and you, the Spirit, have been telling me we should do more shows. I'm like, all right. Right. So, so right. I mean, we got plenty of time to do more shows. No, Cerebral right. intelligence. Oh, no doubt. No, it's, 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 it's what it is. You know what I'm saying? I appreciate being being able to do a show with you, brother, for real. You know how I feel. Right. When my master teaches. Cerebral intelligence, which we develop in the higher animal aspect of man. Cerebral intelligence is nothing but a a fucking sophisticated animal. Cerebral Mm. intelligence is nothing but a sophisticated animal. Strictly limited by the boundaries imposed on the senses. Intelligence of the heart, to the contrary, is independent of them and belongs to a complexity called life, or quantum life, you could say. So, again, yet again, um, your brain, the best your brain has to offer, that's why you always find yourself in arguments. Now, I know the difference. Like, you'll see me argue and bullshit. Usually I do that to get intel. See, right. I'll debate I'll debate and see where niggas at with it, and they'll give me all the debates. They'll tell me what they hate about me, what they can't stand. And I'll be like, what, but, 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 and then I'll see exactly where y'all at. And then now you have a new lecture for a whole bunch of motherfuckers. So don't, don't think for a moment you're, you're really that interesting when I debate with you. Like, you know, I just, I'm just i going through your stuptivity, and Facebook is the place to do it. Because, see, I understand, as I'm telling you, the difference between cerebral intelligence. I also understand that's where it belongs, on MySpace and Facebook and Twitter. You know what I'm saying? See, that represents the 10% of tithes that you pay where you thought it was money. It represents the 10% of your human ego that you give up. That's what you give up, 10%. So ten, I'm going to go to Walmart and go, my divine presence is, has blessed y'all, which way to the motor oil. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? It doesn't matter that. You know, shit, that kind of shit don't matter. You go in there and you do human shit. You get what I'm saying? So you, I don't have to walk in there, oh, beloved, which way do I find the hot links? You know what I'm saying? <laughs> Beloved. You know, it, 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 that's a senseless, fruitless goddamn, you know what I mean? Everything shouldn't be fruitatious and divine. You keep. You don't need a dialogue to have this. See, what I realized was this is not to become something else. That's exoteric. I learned this and I become more courteous, less argumentative, yeah. uh, uh, right. more queens instead of bitches. That thing I'm going to do right. with this. That's nothing to do with enlightenment. You know what I'm saying? That's manners, morals. That's an invention. You get what I'm saying? See, over here, me marrying a 13-year-old girl, I'm going to jail. But if I was, my name was Numbuntu and I lived in fucking Gambia, you know what I'm saying? Shit. Congratulations with her new wife. Because that's normal. 
You know right. what I'm saying? So what's real? That's not that tells you that's not real. That's only that's only what we morally say, which is a, an invention of humanity, an invention of the ego. Keep off the grass or go have a picnic. What the fuck? You know what I'm saying? Ain't there any law? <laughs> that's just rules. You know what I'm saying? Rules that you agree to. You get what I'm saying? Only enforced right, right. by police. <laughs> you get what I'm saying? Police or morals or right. what's being frowned upon. You get what I'm saying? So, so right. none of that's real. So this conscious esoteric information is not supposed to spiffy that up. Nine times out of ten, it will because you won't be interested in a lot of dumb shit anymore because it's just not worth it. So you will see your manners change, but that's not the goal here. You get what I'm saying? When they spill oil, I do not want to get in there and clean ducks off. You get what I'm saying? Because that's not what this is about. Ultimately, this is an inner change, inner understanding of self. What you do, the clothing you wear, which is basically your attitude on, has nothing to do with anything. Has nothing to do. It, that has everything to do with you being an asshole. You know what I'm saying? Pat's an asshole. So what? I'm the most enlightened asshole you'll ever meet. You get what I'm saying? And it doesn't matter where I'm going. I'm not going to see you in the context of where you have that judgment. You get what I'm saying? You made the best you could do right now is take me off your friends list. You get what I'm saying? Take me off your friends list. Don't Twitter me no more. But other than that. That light in you, no one can stop that. That light, I, I separate that from what's happening in play in, in the playland. You guys are in playland trying to make that shit divine. Not saying you can't share information for the first time we're together, but I would say in my mind, the more carried away you get, the more exoteric, inf- or the more you fall into this routine. It's called a social network. The more you socialize, Socialize means you are more getting uniform, and for the esoteric person, that doesn't work. It, it, it all can only work with so much. You get what I'm saying? So, because I can inform you that there's a show tonight. You know what I'm saying? I can inform you that this event and that event, excellent. But if I'm trying to teach you and looking for people to say like, which means you agree with me, then then we, you're totally misinformed as, as what it is. You get what I'm saying? You're just a high you're just a higher animal. In Kabbalah they have four worlds. Don't ask me the names, but they're four worlds. And at the bottom of this world, uh uh and it just looks like four four levels of the soul, they'll call it. At the very bottom is the animal self. Most that's people who react as an animal. That's in you you know, somebody pull pull out a knife, you know what I'm saying, you're gonna get into your Captain Kirk move and try to karate chop him or whatever the fuck you're gonna do. <laughs> Now, the second level is the intelligent level, intelligence. So that's just one step above the animal mind. The third level is, uh, you could say, the magician's level, where you are doing ritual, um, you are doing things to try to, have, to try to obtain a spiritual answer. The fourth world is the all quantum knowing. It's that feeling, they'll, they, they'll describe it as, your mother can wake up in the middle of the night and go, something happened to my son. And then get on the phone, I knew something happened. And this happens to us every once in a while, shit. That's right. And to show you how this is something black people know, I'm watching this, this ignorant-ass show called The Game on BET, and they did that shit. Her mm-hmm. son got married to Robin Gibbons, which is enough to alarm any nigga. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Uh-huh. And the mother, in, in the show, the mother wakes up and says, something happened to my son in the middle of the night. I don't know what it is, but something happened. And like I'm like that's cute. They they, they do it, big. but that even shows you for a writer to even write that in a script means that they're aware of this phenomenon. This phenomenon in in esoteric study is talking about this all knowing or this quantum connection, this 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 this, this radiation of the heart, um, where it's it's innate intelligence, uh, it's instinct. You get what I'm saying? As opposed to what we're dealing with. Cerebral intelligence, which is nothing more than, more than just as we pointed out, a higher animal aspect. You know what I'm saying? Like I said, animals have brains. You know what I'm saying? We need to get out this ego shit. Our womb is sacred, and all the rest of this shit. You no, know, the process of birth and all of that and regeneration is sacred, but not necessarily here. You know what I'm saying? If roaches were regenerating in your fucking cupboard, how sacred would that be? 
We can be satisfied with words that say, for example, horizon, axis, and construct sentences with these words, but as soon as we try to analyze their meanings, we are bound to make them objective. Otherwise, our cerebral, uh, or, or otherwise, our cerebral ability will come to a halt. Meaning, when we say things like kundalini, melanin, pineal, and all the rest of these sexy-ass words, um, <laughs> when we're defining them and breaking them down, um, we're using... The proof in the pudding is we would not be if we weren't using cerebral intelligence, we would not be able to explain them. I've said to you on plenty of occasions, and I'm sure some of you have. There's some spiritual experiences I don't even know how to tell you. There's some dreams, meditations, experiences I have. I'm like all I can tell you is my yacht was there. All I can tell you I was with Osiris. All I can tell you is I know I'm supposed to do that. I don't have the cerebral intelligence to tell you about this. I, this doesn't come from the animal part of me. This comes from a part of me that was that goes beyond cerebral intelligence. And that's when these type of things start happening, it's happening to the esoteric aspect of yourself. It's happening to that inner self. So you want to start looking for unexplainable things. So it, 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 it's, it baffles me how I see on Facebook, because remember, Facebook is our model. That's where everybody talks. Now, everyone can explain all of this shit. So just the mere fact that you're explaining it, and I know this knowledge, the mere fact that you're explaining it, I'm sitting there going, then you're not having an experience. I need to, who's having an experience that they can't explain? It should be on Facebook. That means they're reaching their inner life because it's a personal story that is beyond humanity. You're not escaping humanity. You're taking these words and you're just giving them, your ego is taking you on these goddamn adventures. That's why you're able to explain these adventures. You get what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. Like, I, like, I knew, like, based upon the dream I had, I knew I had to take that box and that shit off this week <laughs> and wear some crystals. So as I wear these crystals, me and my son, they driving by the side of the road, and these, this dude had these statues couple of things we bought, about four pieces. He said, I got a whole bunch of other shit. Y'all can come and see. Thank you, Jesus. In Jesus' name. And I'm like, wow, man, thank you, Jesus. I'm saying Jesus back to the nigga. The nigga said to me, bless you for this, brother. I feed the Christian children with this. I just said, uh, bless you, too. Like, it's just so weird. You know what I'm saying? Bless you, too, brother. If I'd have had that in my sunset, Yo, what's that piece you be wearing? That Boffer song? I said, that Bobby said, if you'd have had that shit on, we wouldn't have got this shit today. <laughs> I said, you know something? You fucking I said, I, I wore that crystal and shit. She nigga had a slip back and everything. I feed the crystal shit. Because he was like, I take cards. I'm like, I'm not giving my card to some nigga on the side of the road. That nigga talk that Jesus shit. I said, hold up one second. <laughs> Here's my card. I mean, I do. <laughs> I knew that he wasn't going over with that shit. You know what I'm saying? Here's, you know, here's my car. My name is LaFont James. <laughs> Some shit like that. And you know, he had the little Panthers. You know, he was crazy about Panthers. And it was these two Panthers. Shit was cheap. Two ill Panther statues. So I said, oh, I'm, I thought he was going to say like 100. So this thing said two for 50. I'm like, oh, nigga, you know what I'm saying? I'll be right back, nigga. I'll be right back. You know what I'm saying? That's two other packs, nigga. I'll be right back. You know what I'm saying? And I take cards. I'm like, nigga, I can give you my card. Nigga, what the fuck I look like? Nigga, you ain't getting me. I came back. That nigga talked that stab with some extra shit, lions and shit. And they said, oh, in Jesus' name, boy, I feed the, I feed the children with this. So I'm sitting there like, oh, you know, you can't go home. He said, oh, well, God bless you, uh, 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 bless you too. Like, like, I don't even know how to say that. Bless you back. I felt so corny saying that. Bless, uh, blessed be unto you. <laughs> Blessings be unto you. What did he just so like, uh, yeah, it's a whole chat, my nigga. I said, lock it. <laughs> lock it, my nigga. <laughs> You know what I'm saying? A lofty of my nigga, that nigga would have passed the fuck out on that curve. You know what I'm saying? Oh, <laughs> I just show this to Satan. Like, it, my son said, you had that necklace on? 
You wouldn't have got none of that shit today. You know what I'm saying? I was like, you right about that shit. You know what I'm saying? And, like, the, the dream I had was so fucking lucid. I went into this room. There was just two niggas crafting these crystals. And, I, and I'm like, yo, I need a little necklace. And he's like, yo, I'll make one with crystals all around. He said a deity's name. And I remember walking out going, oh, our chase in the dream. And the nigga laughing and shit. You know what I'm saying? So I'm like, what the fuck was that? And, you know, in the dream, because my dreams is real lucid now. In the dream, I'm like, what the fuck did I say? That shit sounded hard, corny. You know what I'm saying? I walk out going, ah, shay. I don't even do that in real life. Okay, ah, shay. And it was the same awkward feeling that when I was saying God bless to this dude. You know what I'm saying? So I, right. so I, when I seen that, I said, oh, okay, I'm supposed to wear one of my crystal necklaces. So I just kept it simple. First world order radio, final lead. Final lead. We are on the air. No doubt. All right, all right. There's always going to be somebody in the building on First World Order Radio. We get on into some of that Buddha consciousness tonight. First World Order Radio every Wednesday, 8 p.m. We got to talk about what is taking place on the planet. There's always going to be somebody in the building on First World Order Radio. First, we need to let you know we're going to be doing more shows, giving out more information on Wednesdays. Wednesday is 8 o'clock. We are now going to make this is the hottest day of the week. Proceeding in others in time, order, and importance, the most prominent parts, voices, or instruments. Earthly state of human concerns in existence, an indefinite multitude, quantity, or distance. System regulates to bring about specifics in the group based on value and natural characteristics. Current radiates electromagnetistics of sound through the air, same that your thoughts transmits it. Proceed in others in time, order, importance. The most prominent parts, voices, or instruments. Earthly state of human concerns in existence, an indefinite multitude, quantity, or distance. System regulates to bring about specifics in the group based on value and natural characteristics. Current radiates electromagnetistics of sound through the air, same as your thoughts transmits it. You need to understand how magical this, uh, something like this every Wednesday can become. So you need to start uh, getting your calendar right, get your schedule, your schedule right. You need to know how intention is straight out. All right, so, I mean, these clues are given throughout the various languages was to piece the puzzle of this ancient mystery school back together again. And what we plan on doing, both of us, is bringing y'all some surefire dynamite. We're going to take this level up a notch. We're going to have stuff to do here. This is not just going to be about philosophies and theories and shit that works. <laughs> 